We are now joined by Oklahoma head coach Jenny Baranchek and Peyton Verholst. Uh, coach, if you could open with a statement and then we will uh, take questions for Peyton. Well, I thought Iowa State was phenomenal and we were not, um, but you have to credit them. I thought, I mean, Audie Crooks I thought was absolutely incredible and then obviously everybody opened it up around her. So um, I'm proud that we didn't just totally throw in the towel and we did fight a little bit in the probably last five minutes of the game, um, but disappointing. And at the same time, obviously, Iowa State was really good. Thank you. Questions for Peyton? Um, microphone, please, right here in the front left. Yeah, Peyton, you all start an uncharacteristic, I believe, 2 of 13 from the field. What did, what did you feel like was behind the, the offensive struggles early? And uh, you know, how do you feel like you all responded to that? as the game went on? Um, yeah, I don't feel like we're strangers to shooting droughts, so I don't feel like that was it. I think um, we just weren't shooting the ball more than we could have and not taking the shots that we've been taking all year, um, me included. And so I feel like um, we just needed to find our feet a little bit, and we just didn't until the very end, and at that point it was a little late. Stay on the left. Yeah, Peyton, what do you think? Um, I know this is a little disappointing, but there's still the NCAA tournament yeah. ahead. You guys know how well you can play. What do you think you take out of um, the last couple of weeks in terms of going ahead toward the, the NCAA tournament? Uh, yeah, obviously um, this is a hard loss for us. This is going to hurt for a while, but um, like you said, we're going to be looking forward to uh, the NCAA tournament. Um, obviously we don't know anything about where we're going or what we're doing, um, but we do know uh, who's on our team and what we're going to do. Um, and we're going to work really hard this week and the weeks leading up to the NCAA. So right now that's all we're worried about. All right. Um, I'll get to you in the back first on the left end, Blair. Peyton, I, I know you're disappointed with today's result, but I'm just wondering what it was like for you to come back to your hometown and to play in this arena. Yeah, um, it was awesome. Uh, I always came to, watch games here growing up, so it was really surreal for me to be able to play in front of my family and friends and people, uh, little girls watching the games, so um, that was fun. All right, in the back standing, left. Uh, Peyton, just you transferring to Oklahoma, just mm -hmm. what have you taken from your first year and especially coming back here and playing in front of the hometown? Uh, yeah, the biggest thing that honestly I've taken away is that playing basketball at Oklahoma and playing for Jenny has been really fun. Um, and yeah, that's honestly the biggest thing. I can get back to having fun in basketball again. Other questions for Peyton? Okay, right here in the front. Yeah, Peyton, you talk about you know, bouncing back and, and looking forward to the NCAA tournament. How does the experience, do you feel like right now, the experience that y'all went through early in the year sort of help you uh, here moving forward as you, you know, try to bounce back from this? Yeah, I have no doubt that we can bounce back. Um, again, we're just going to put in the work, everything that we need to right now, and um, the results will take care of itself. Okay, thank you, Peyton. We're going to have your coach answer questions now. You can uh, you can leave and go back to the locker room if you'd like. Okay, questions for coach, right here, front right. Tyler DeLuca, no cap space. Jenny, Audi Crooks was pretty dominant today. I'm just kind of interested from the opposing team perspective, uh, such a unique talent. How do you kind of try and game plan for a player in that way that can, can really do so many things in, in the way that she does? Uh, well, obviously we didn't game plan very well, especially this game. Um, but no, I think it's really important you have a freshman that you do have to game plan for, and, and you really do. You have to change and you have to pick your poison, and tonight they were hitting on both sides, both inside and out, um, which makes it a little more challenging. Um, but again, y there's a lot of different things you've got to be able to do, but the first thing you have to do is try to limit her touches as much as possible. That's what we didn't do. Um, you have to hold your ground as much as possible, and we didn't do that. Um, so it's really impressive that she was able to do that at this, you know, on this stage. All right, front row, uh, left. Jenny, you talk about uh, the the, the uh, defensive end, but on the offensive end, you know, when I asked Peyton about the slow start yesterday, you were pretty mm -hmm. aggressive in attacking mm -hmm. the, the bigs inside. Do you feel like you got away from that uh, early? You know, Ryan, I I feel like we didn't um, 
I don't know if we just came out nonchalant. I don't know if we came out a little too tight. Um, I can promise you I'm really sad this was our last Big 12 game. That's not the way that we wanted to go out. You know, we don't get to be decision makers in any of the process, um, but no matter what, we knew that this tournament was gonna be our last Big 12 experience, and we wanted to be better, and I don't know if we took too much of that, um, but I don't feel like our movement was great. I don't feel like um, our intensity was great. Uh, so, so I don't know if I know the answer to that. I do know we have great women in that locker room. Um, and I do know we've had a really interesting season. So this is one that when this team responds well, look at what happens. When this team doesn't respond well, look at what happens. So in this game, I don't think we responded well or started well or really finished well. Um, and at the same time, I'm excited to be able to see what we continue to do because two months ago we didn't have a future in postseason. Now we do. So I'm going to be really excited to see how we respond to that. Standing in the back, left. Coach that was a better answer than we sucked. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> Coach, uh, Peyton talked about, you know, her finding the love of the game again. Just what was it like seeing her go through this year in, in Oklahoma, and what can she add to, to the stretch of, of the NCAA tournament? Well, Peyton is somebody that um, I recruited when I was at Drake. I offered her when she was in seventh grade, so I've seen her grow a lot. And she had rec specs, and she was just this little, you know, young girl that just loved playing and – uh, I think you get to see that sometimes. And Peyton is somebody that she's, you can tell, she's a middle child of six kids and she wants everybody to do well. And there's a time and place that she's got to put that aside and she's just got to go. And you can see when she does that. And you can see when she tries to include everybody. Peyton is somebody you have to have in your program. And we're just lucky that you have to have that type of person in your program. And she's pretty good at basketball. So I've loved to watch her. She thinks almost like a point guard. Sometimes she tries to overpass. Uh, sometimes she really has to, you know, put the ball in her hands. But, it, um, but I think we've seen glimpses of Peyton. And I think the more comfortable she continues to get, um, the sky's the limit for her. She's really special. And it's, she's got a special soul. And she just happens to be a really good basketball player. All right, left. Blair. Coach, just a... Chamber of Commerce question about playing in this building versus where you were the last couple years with your team. I don't necessarily want to get into comparison mode because I do think that um, when you have a conference tournament, um, they do a great job in the Big 12 of hosting tournaments. So regardless of what the building is, um, the experience has been nothing but phenomenal for us. And I credit the Big 12 staff. Dana and her staff do an incredible job. Uh, we've had two different commissioners since I've been here. Um, I think the city of Kansas City does a great job of hosting the tournaments. There's a lot of times you feel, unf unfortunately, unfortunately, we've played Iowa State in a couple of years, so we've had a lot of fans. Um, but I do feel like um, I don't want to go down that road, and we're going to take away really positive experiences. Um, from the overall experience for our student athletes. Thank you, Coach Bronchek. Thank you. Appreciate you all.